justice. Same girl, different hair. <laughs> Here's our question for this episode. My dog and my cat have grown up together and they've always gotten along until lately my five-year-old dog has been chasing the cat all over the house and annoying him. Is there anything that we can do to fix this? This could be a very complicated issue and if so you might need to seek out the help of a trainer. But at the core of what's going on, your dog has a prey drive and you want to try to curb the prey drive. And the act of chasing an animal is in and of itself reinforcing for it. So when you're home, it's really important to have a leash on your dog and be managing your dog so that they're not allowed to engage in that behavior ever. You can also do some setup work with your dog and your cat. I taught go to your bed in one of the previous episodes. Really work on go to your bed. Find an instance where your cat can be far enough away where your dog can see the cat, but not actually run after it, and work on sending your dog to its bed and reinforcing the dog when it remains calmly on its bed with food rewards. Over time, after a few setup exercises, you want to start decreasing the distance between the dog and the cat constantly reinforcing the dog for remaining calm and being on its bed when the cat is right there in its presence. That's the basic principle behind allowing a dog and a cat to interact in a peaceful way. I wouldn't ever expect them to be best friends and pals and play with each other, but for your dog to know how to be calm when a cat is in the room is very important. Good luck with it. Today's trick that we're teaching is not so much a trick as much as it is a, an incredibly useful command. We're going to teach leave it. For leave it, you will need a very low value treat that your dog isn't super into, and an incredibly high value treat that's much more rewarding than the low value treat, and your clicker. You wanna start off with the low value treat in your left hand, and the high value treat in the same hand as your clicker, because you're going to be giving them the high value one and not giving them the low value one. And all you wanna do is simply get your dog to engage in the low value treat, and see, <laughs> See if they're interested in it, but don't allow them to have it. And the minute they look away from it, you want to click and mark that moment. After a few tries, your dog will probably have it figured out that every time they stop engaging in the low value hand, they get a click and a treat from the high value hand. And then you want to just start naming the command, right? Leave it. And Spider knows this well enough that he's actually looking at me instead of just disengaging with the low value hand, which is ideally what you really want with Leave It. Once your dog knows the basics of Leave It, you want to start using it more frequently in their life. One pointer, you always want to have a food reward that's better than what they're leaving. So when you get out onto the street, if you don't happen to have a food reward, you've already built the command deep enough inside of them where they will leave that chicken bone because they think they might get the food reward. It'll all be up there for them. You can also try to set up an obstacle course in your house or your apartment with the leash on and toys all over the ground. See if you can get your dog to leave the toys as you're walking through them. Good luck!